Welcome to ATCM, the Emergency Medicine Channel. Socialist. Okay. Twenty-six year old male presented to ER with complaints of fever, sir, high grade fever. On uh, initial primary examination, patient airway was uh, patent. Patient was talking in one full sentence. Breathing patient's uh, saturation was ninety nine percent at room air and eighteen breaths per minute. Circulation patient heart rate was one not one beats per minute and BP was one thirty by seventy mm hg, sir. Okay. And peripheral pulses were palpable. Okay. And on disability patients, GCS was E four B five M six. Uh, bilateral people were reacting to light. Okay. And exposure patient was having 101 degree Fahrenheit temperature with GRBS of 129 mg per dl. At this point of time, uh, the because of the high temperature, patient was given and one gram paracetamol IV stat was given, sir. Okay. And uh, regarding the uh, adjuvants to primary survey, patient uh, point of care was uh, done, sir. Patient uh, uh, counts were WBC was 4.6 uh, and uh, platelets were 180, sir. And uh, CRP was 10, sir. Uh, as of now, like uh, with the uh, diagnosis of short febrile illness, we went to the secondary survey, sir. Patient is a canteen worker, sir, and uh, uh, patient uh, occupation was a canteen worker, and he had history of fever for the last three days, sir, which were uh, alter, uh, morning rise of temperature and evening rise of temperature were noted, which was controlled with taking tap Dolo 650 mg, sir, and uh, there were no any uh, associated history of any neck stiff uh, like uh, neck pain or body pains and no history of uh, breathing difficulty no history of burning micturation or dysuria no history of chest pain uh, no skin rashes and no other signs sir. Okay. Um, no. further past history patient is hailing from uh, orissa sir oh. and he has been a part of an endemic uh, uh, to malaria, he's a patient, mm -hmm. and there is no any history, past history of any malaria history. Also, there was no past history, sir. Again, coming for the uh, examination component, from head to toe examination, there is no paler, no ictus, no uh, lymphadenopathy, sir, and no pedal edema. And uh, regarding to the systemic examination, uh, all systemic examinations are within normal limits. And uh, coming to abdominal examination, no palpable spleno, uh, spleen, uh, splenomegaly or hepatomegaly identified. Sir. So uh, we had, uh, as patient was endemic to the uh, orissa, his endemic to the malaria condition. We had sent for a malaria antigen as of now, sir. And uh, patient was started with. Uh, 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 empirical treatment of doxycycline initially hmm. and uh, after a day the malarial antigen turned out to be positive as it's an antigen specifically plasmodium falciparum has been identified and as is an endemic region we had started with a combination therapy of artusinate initially sir hmm. and uh, Ideally, patient uh, would be requiring an oral uh, medication would have been sufficient, but patient had been complaining of severe weakness and unable to move around. Okay. So, considering this, we had started with IV medication. Okay. Uh, IV medication of uh, artusinate 120 mg has been given initially and uh, three days of IV artusinate had been followed up, followed by uh, primaquine for longer acting to kill the uh, cyjones in the liver was okay. given. Primaquin uh, initial day uh, triple dosing like uh, we had to start and next continue the rest of the days for 14 days with single dose of okay. 15 days. So tell me something about malaria, how do they present to you? Uh, usually uh, presentation of malaria would be with uh, chills and rigor uh, which is a common presentation but there can be unusual presentations like uh, breathing difficulty or uh, uh, coma patient. Uh, the, regarding the severe malaria complications with of severe malaria, the patient can present with seizures, with uh, jaundice, with uh, shock, with this all presentation. That's all. Uh, what are the presentations of severe malaria? Presentation of severe malaria first uh, coma, coma is low GCS, seizures. Next, uh, coming uh, ARDS, like a uh, breathing difficulty can be seen. ARDS. ARDS can be seen. Uh, then uh, regarding. Uh, Jaundice can be seen. Hmm. Liver failure. Liver failure. Secondary bacterial infection, algid malaria, like we can have a Which bacteria? Gram negative bacteria specifically okay. we can see. Okay. Then decompensated shock patient can be shock. in shock okay. we can see. Then, then uh, kidney failure uh, aka can be seen. It is not very common but it can present. Then she is the most common parasitic most common complication of malaria. Most common. 
hypoglycemia 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 and lactic acidosis are hypoglycemia the first. is the most common how do patient develop hypoglycemia uh, first what are thing, the reasons for hypoglycemia liver uh, storage will be affected sir mm-hmm. and second the whole body utilization of glucose is increased along with the parasite intake so the mm-hmm. glucose level. any other drug in malaria can produce hypoglycemia actually uh, previously quinine mm-hmm. is to be given quinine mm-hmm. will is a sulfonylurea kind of medication so it will increase the consumption so it will increase the <coughs> glucose consumption on <coughs> insulin secretor go it will increase ah, okay. the insulin it increases production. the ingre- insulin production okay so we have to usually give quinine along with dextrose to prevent such okay okay so how, what presentation this patient had patient had generalized uh, like uh, any hemolysis uh, no we had uh, not find any okay hemoglobin dropper ldh was normal okay how do you diagnose this case what are the diagnostic methods you can ideally the gold, uh, previously gold standard used to be the thick and thin smear for the blood okay thick and thin, thin smear. smear now also it can be done in most of the hospital these facilities are not there so most of the Or hospital we can send the rapid test malaria uh, test malaria antigen test, test that we have done we had. any other, other thing is uh, quantitative buffy coat test. what is that in that actually we centrifuge the blood and in the uh, RBC layer and the above layer, buffy layer, we have put acridine orange uh, solution which will dye the antigen of the malaria. Okay. So, under microscopy, we can identify the species and quantify it. Okay. How do you treat malaria normally? Normally, uh, uh, depending upon the species is the treatment as of now. Uh, if it is a Vivax or malaria, we start chloroquine as the first three days dosing mm. and uh, with long acting of primaquine for 14 days. Mm. Uh, if it is falciparum, we have a national uh, guidelines of uh, chloroquine resistant areas and chloroquine sensitive areas mm. Dep- depending on that we take the decision as this patient is a endemic person we had to start with the artesunate regimen okay in pregnancy what is the treatment of choice quinine is this contraindicated is this this drug is contraindicated in pregnancy yes artesunate hmm It is not contraindicated. Previously, it was uh, told that first three trimesters, first three trimester we should avoid. But even now, yeah, even uh, when you t- tell like that, uh, it is given for many patients. There is no uh, problem in pregnancy also. So you can safely give this drug in pregnancy. Okay. Previously, quinine was uh, there, but quinine produces a lot of complication. Now almost all patients are receiving this drug only. There is no much problem because of this drug in pregnancy. Okay. Yeah. So this can be continued even in pregnancy. How long you have to give this uh, artesunate? Artesunate oral would be for three days. Three days. Three days. IV. IV actually in case of severe malaria we start the IV. IV we start at 2.4 mg per kg and it is given at like zero, twelve, and twenty-four hours. Mm-hmm. After that, uh, depending upon the progression, it will be continued. Is there any complication of this drug? Documented? Major complications? when we start some drug we should know the action contraindication complication all these things is there any complication you are giving artesunate to so many patients you might have given by now have you seen any complication gastric have you seen mm. normally there is no complication for artesunate is there any resistant documented artesunate resistance artesunate resistance is not documented so far but uh, thinking that it can like after long time long term use it can also become resistant that's why nowadays many doctors use dual therapy dual therapy consists of artesunate with sulfur with the prim okay. trimoxazole okay. that is one flop. option then edicuno edicuon atavacan atavacan okay. then then mefloquine mefloquine is not used any other artemit artemit any antibiotics are used doxycycline doxycycline azithromycin the clindamycin many <coughs> drugs are used that com- most commonly used combination is artesunate with doxycycline. doxycycline okay that is uh, given for to prevent formation of resistant organism but now uh, as of now there is no resistance documented from our country it may be there we don't know okay now how do you prevent uh, reinfections in malaria So this reinfection means uh, recurrence, Recur- or all these things. By giving the primaquin. 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 Uh, what is the dose? 
Salsiparam, what is the dose? Uh, Vivax, what is the dose? In Vivax, it is given as 15 mg hmm. for uh, 14 days, sir. Vi- uh, for Falciparam, 45 mg in the starting day and then 15 mg for... What is the non-side effect of uh, Primacin? Today morning, we discussed what is the most common side effect of Primacin. Yes. G6PD deficiency, G6 pregnant G6 people, pregnant women. So G6PD deficiency, if it is there, patient can develop Hemoly- hemolysis. hemolysis. What is the treatment for that? Stupid. If you give uh, this primacin and patient develops cola colored urine, hemolysis, hemolytic anemia, what is the treatment? Stop, stop the drug. Stop there stop. is no other treatment. Just stop the drug and give folic acid, patient will come back to normal. Only thing there is a possibility this patient can have. Uh, malaria second time. Okay. What is the prophylaxis you give uh, to the patient when they are traveling? Chemo prophylaxis we can give doxycycline as the daily dose. Mm-hmm. If it is a extended chemo prophylaxis then mefloquine. Yes. Okay. Mefloquine um, with the doxycycline, doxycycline can be given when you are going for a, a trip to an uh, endemic area. Okay. What is algid malaria you are telling about that? Algid malaria is a situation where a patient having uh, uh, malaria developing secondary bacterial infection, especially gram-negative bacteria. Mm. Can they have shock? With, it's usually presents with uh, decompensated shock and severe lactic acid. Okay. What is the basic difference between falciparum malaria and uh, vivax malaria? Falciparum uh, malaria, so basic difference then falciparum malaria, there are no liver uh, shy joints. So you, huh? you tell me about the severe your point of view, emergency medicine department point of view. Severe malaria is usually seen with falciparum. Yes, that is correct. Why it is like Because that? of higher parasitemia count. Higher mirosides production in falciparum, it is in higher. Why? Tell me two reasons for severe malaria in falciparum when we compare... Because falciparum malaria will cause that uh, cells protuberance causing the... Uh, clumping of the RBCs and that will block the vessels and causing the... What is that phenomenon called as? Cytoadderance. Cytoadderance. Rosette formation. That produces block in the uh, small vessels throughout your circulation. So, they can develop stroke, visual loss, myocardial infarction, renal failure, liver failure. Everything is due to this cytoadderance. Second thing is, like you told, the number of parasites produced is very high. Why it is high? Why it is high? There is a basic difference between Vivax and Falciparum. What is that? If you know that, you can tell the answer. The cycle, life cycle, it will be shorter duration for Falciparum. Hmm. Lapse is after some time, no? It is because Falciparum affects all age group RBCs. That is the reason. So, falciparum is one malaria which affects all age groups. So, younger age group, uh, middle age group, uh, elderly parents, uh, RBC, everything will be affected by falciparum. So, the number of R- uh, mirocytes produced will be very, very high. Whereas, uh, Vivax and all affects only one group of RBCs. So, it, the number of uh, things will be not very. So, two important reasons. One is cytoadderance and rosette formation and blockage in the uh, smaller, vessels. smaller vessels. What are the uh, other problems of uh, uh, other problems because of falciparum malaria other than routinely we see in common malaria? In this specifically, the cerebral malaria is the hmm. most uh, seizures. seizures. Seizures are the most important thing. Any other neurological for, uh, defects can present in endemic areas? Patient can present like any other stroke, stroke. Uh, cerebella, cerebellitis is there, stroke is common. So, all formations of stroke can be seen in, seen in malaria. Okay. Lactic acidosis. Lactic acidosis, Lactic acidosis is, is very, very common in severe malaria. IRDS is very common. So, all these complications can occur in falciparum malaria only. Okay. So, you have to treat it first itself. Okay. Any other things you want to add? Sir, regarding the complication in management in uh, like cere- if cerebral malaria, first thing we, uh, we have to do is maintain the airway breathing mm-hmm. and circulation along with that to prevent con- convulsions, we have to start with the anti-epileptics. Okay. Apart from that, uh, patient can have hypoglycemia, like these are the anticipated complications regarding the treatment of the complications, hypoglycemia starting with dextrose, so DNS uh, drip. Hmm. And uh, if it is, there can be severe anemia because of the hemolysis, we need to 
can start for transfusion okay and patient can have a dic kind of a picture so at the template lets and ffps have to be transfused Di- how do you diagnose dic dic ap hypofibronogenemia increased dnr increased ptnr increased apt and hypofibronogenemia okay so that's all yes. anything nothing you are returned to some nothing notes <laughs> okay so you can read about who recent guidelines on uh, malaria treatment so that will be useful yes. okay